This is New Day Northwest. Well, in case you couldn't tell from all the little green around here that we've got, St. Patty's Day, St. Patrick's Day is just a wee few hours away. We're getting a head start by issuing a challenge to our friend Terry Holloman. He's good at a lot of things, but him he master playing the bagpipes. Take a look. Amity, it's almost St. Patrick's Day, so in honor of this special occasion, I'm gonna try the bagpipes. So I got my kilt, and of course I gotta lotion up the legs before I get started. Wow, I feel like I'm ready to go. It's bagpipe time, baby. My guy Neil, AKA Mr. Bagpipes is here. Thank you, man. Glad to be here. Hey, so can you teach me, of all people, how to play the bagpipe? I don't know, we'll see. What's your, what's your musical experience? Well, I could play Row, Row, Row Your Boat on the piano, Okay, but that's about it. <laughs> All right, well, have a seat, and we will see what we can do. So, with St. Patrick's Day coming up, I thought Danny Boy would be uh, a good place to start. A classic. So, this here is called a practice chanter. Okay. And this is where we start on the bagpipes. So, left hand on top, th just three fingers there. Okay. Covering the holes. Okay. There's a hole, oh, there's a hole there's there. A hole that there. I Right? All right. And then right hand on the bottom. Okay. On the bottom. Little four. finger on that hole. Okay. And give it a blow. Oh, yes, this, you're going to be great. Look at that. I'm a pro right already. Now. You, you, the flat, you, you flat move too many fingers for me. Co right there. Cover. This is hopeless. And <laughs> there you go. Teasing me already. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There's only nine notes. How hard can it possibly be? Only nine. Only nine. Am I not hitting the note at all? Is that the note I'm looking for? So, here's the scale. Your turn. Everybody sounds like this when they start out, trust me. You just trying to make me feel that's good where right I have, now? That's why I have good earplugs. But speaking of earplugs, can I get some before the day is over? Yes. I think I'm gonna need them. You, I have some for you. Okay, so I got the C. Here, I'll turn this way, and you can just move your fingers. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Terry, before I hit the bagpipes. Got that, thank you. You are a good teacher. Remember the flat fingers? Flat fingers. Left hand on top, oh, so now right hand on bottom. So get this up under your arm. There mm -hmm. you go. See how easy this is, folks? <laughs> ah. Don't get a hernia. <laughs> That's how it is. So, I know that I know that you're, Lord have mercy. your background, your tough physical right. man. Okay, I take your word for that. I would think you ought to be able to get this. I can't get any noise to come out. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's not, Terry's trying is not working on this one. Who are the people that actually do this, that you teach on a regular basis? So, I teach Seattle firefighters pipes and drums, Seattle police pipes and drums, okay. and Homish County firefighters pipes and drums, and the King County firefighters pipes and drums. Okay. So most of these guys are big strapping lads that can carry us out of our house if it was on fire. Right. But when they start with this, they suck just as bad as it as you do so right he, now. So he's saying it's a nice way of saying I suck. He compared me to a police officer and a strong fireman that suck as well. So I'm, I feel it's less not sucky. easy, is what I'm saying. Gotcha. It's, it's a very physically demanding instrument. You're in good company with okay. all those with all those guys. all those all those sucky guys. How long have you been doing this? I've been playing for about 33, 34 years. Okay. Yeah. And what got you into playing the bagpipe first and foremost? Like, cause this is not something that normally most kids will go out and pick up. 
Yeah, so my one of my main teachers over the years calls it a genetic affliction. <laughs> oh. You know, but um, I was riding my bike at Lower Woodland Park when I was 12, and there was a man out there playing his bagpipes, and I just stopped and listened, and I started taking lessons from him. Mm -hmm. And then I played for about two years and quit, and then picked it up again, you know, 33 years ago or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And so you train a lot of people. You're like the go-to guy in the Pacific Northwest when it comes to this. What are the big seasons or occasions that people come out and, and play the bagpipes? So St. Patrick's Day is is big. Um, the, the bands all go and do pub crawls around the area. It's a big fundraising day for pipe bands. But, you know, the firefighter and police bands play at memorials, they play at recruit graduations, promotions, retirements, and, you know, other fun occasions, you know, uh, the St. Patrick's Day Parade, things like that. And I know you were doing something for a while at Newcastle Golf Course. Is that still something that you do? Sure, during the summertime, I play at sunset up there on, on the weekends. And so I've been doing that since 2004. So um, that's one of my regular things I do. Well, right on, Neil. I thank you for coming by and trying to teach me how to do this. Appreciate you, Neil. Thanks, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. What did I say? <laughs> Joking. <laughs> um, that was some of the funniest television I've seen in a really long time. What, is it really as hard as you made it look? Because I'm pretty sure the sound's supposed to come out of the bagpipe, not yeah, yeah, mouth. Yeah. I'm absolutely sure it's harder than it looked. It was. Oh. I thought it was going to be at least easy. I could make some sound. None. None. Zero. No. It's too complicated for okay, me. Okay. Um, so Neil, though, he's pretty legit. Oh, he's the real deal. He is the real deal. Yeah. He offers lessons. He's yeah. trained yeah. a lot of he people. He trained right? a lot of people. So mm. he's trained. You see the guys at um, mm -hmm. the Seattle Police Department, the yeah. fire stations, Snohomish Fire Station. He's changed the big dogs. But he will train people like me too <laughs> if you want to hit him up. He Neil called Hubbard. you. He called you a big, strong, strapping lad. Yeah, he, he did. He said you sucked. I but, sucked, but I'm still but strong. But you're still and strong. Yeah. Yeah. So there's something there. Yeah, good company. Uh, would you try it again? Or? I would definitely try it again because okay. I'm not a quitter. And I, and I did suck, so I want to be less sucky. What did you like better, the bagpipes or wearing the kilt? I think the kilt was more my thing. I could get into the kilt thing. The bagpipe yeah. a little difficult, kilt a little you, more easy. You don't have to play bagpipes to wear a kilt. No, you have to just make sure your legs are lubed up, though. <laughs> yes. That's number one. <laughs> Lube the legs, baby. <laughs> That's the things we teach you on New Day Northwest. All right, we're going to actually have more from Neil.